Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Git tutorial, we are going to learn how we can push our Selenium Python automation code into the GitHub repository. So in the previous tutorial, we have understood about pushing the dummy code to the GitHub repository, what all steps are required to basically instantiate or initialize your Git repository locally. And then if there are certain files, then how you can basically push the code into the remote GitHub repository. So the first and foremost thing that we need to do when we say for example in this particular case I'm taking an example or assuming that I'm the first person joining the team and I have started writing the code from scratch so I have developed or I have installed the development ID which is PyCharm in this particular case as we are working with Selenium with Python. So and then I have created this particular project where all my files test framework files are there right now this is the code that I need to push to the GitHub repository. Now ideally in the actual scenarios you won't wait this long basically to push your code to GitHub repository. So once you start with your project you at the same time you go ahead and set up the Git and Git hub as well for the project so that you can track the changes as you go along with the particular project and the files so this is this project has not been tracked at all with the git right so this is not the ideal approach in the actual scenarios you will be setting up the git and github as soon as you are creating your project okay so now with this particular project what we need to do is we need to first set up the git or initialize git okay so how we can do it we can simply do the same way so we'll go to this particular location or the location of the folder where these files are the project files are so let me open the location and here you will see that these are some of the files that are for that particular test framework or selenium python test framework files now this is the location which contains all my project files for the test framework okay now if i want to push these or if i want to push these into the local git repository i need to need to first initialize the repository right so let me right click and open git bash here so it at this particular location you can open git bash directly from the start prompt and then change to this particular directory okay change the font size as well a bit more okay so now here if i'll simply say git status you will see that this particular directory is not a git repository right so first and foremost thing we have to basically initialize this particular project or the folder which contains all these files as the git repository so to initialize this we simply have to fire the command git in it right so that will initialize this particular folder as a git repository you can also do it from the development id so pycharm has the support for it but i would recommend always you know going through the command line because you will be finding it a lot easier rather than relying on a particular ide to do all these configurations command line will be sort of a consistent approach independent of any of the ides that you are using so we'll simply do the git in it and it will initialize the empty git repository right so it has initialized it and you will see the dot git file got created okay so now if i'll fire the git status command you will see it has recognized all these folders right so these are the untracked files so these haven't been tracked because we haven't initialized this particular project or the folder so how basically we can track these untracked files we need to move them to the staging area so we need to use this command add and the file so because this particular folder contains a lot of files so there is a command to push all of these files at once into the staging area so that they can be tracked right so we need to fire the command git add and then hyphen capital a so this will move all of the files that are there in these folders into the staging area so we'll simply add that and it will move all of these files into the staging area so if i'll do git status now you will see all of these files have been now moved there right so let me scroll up and you will see all of the files are being available here changes to be committed now we can go ahead and commit these files now if you see here a lot of the files are basically not required for example this dot idea folder we, we do not need to check in the files which is specific to any of the development id right so for example the assets folder right this is the style dot css file which is for the report so let's let's keep it as is because we'll be checking in the reports code anyway reports uh anyway for your reference when you use this code basically then make sure you remove the reports file 
file and generate your own reports. Similarly, uh, there are many other folders and files. So for example, .log file, we do not want to check in these files, right? Because once you once you execute your code, you will basically get your log files as well, right? Similarly, the PyCache. So how we can ignore some of the files being checked in into the remote repository. So what we need to do is we need to simply create a .git ignore file. Okay. So to create a .git ignore file, what we need to do is let me reset all of these staging area. Okay. So basically what changes to be committed to reset this or remove these files out of the staging area. We have the command which is git reset which will reset all of the files, right? So they'll, it will be moved out of the staging area. Now you can see in the git status, it, it's showing me all of those files again. So let's create a git ignore file. To create a git ignore file, we'll simply use the command dot uh, touch dot and then git ignore, okay? So it will create a file dot git ignore. And if you'll just list, right? I'll say ls minus la you will see the git ignore file is available there okay so now in this particular file we can put the folders and the files that we want to ignore okay so what all folders we want to ignore we want to ignore the spy test cache the dot idea right and then anything with the dot log files okay so let's go ahead and open the git ignore file so to edit the git ignore file from the from this git bash we'll simply use the vi right so vi editor will say dot vi git ignore and here just press insert and start typing the folders that you want to ignore okay so we do not want to add the idea right the folder idea and then we do not want to push the files which are part of the pytest underscore cache right and then anything basically which starts or which ends with the dot log right so we'll simply say star dot log anything like that we want to ignore okay and apart from that there was one more file so let me save it and then we'll so once you have typed in everything press escape and then shift and then wq to save the file right and if you'll open the git ignore file again you will see all the changes have been saved right so the git ignore file has been saved and now if i want to add all the files to the staging area let me put the command there okay and i'll say git status so now you will see none of the dot uh, pytest cache files are there right so pycache file are still there which we do not want to include right so anything which is specific with the pycache we want to ignore so we will include this pycache as well right in the git ignore file so we'll go back we'll reset it so we'll say git reset and we'll open the git ignore file as well and press insert and here we will add star and then the name of the folder that was there so underscore underscore pycache okay so anything that you want to basically ignore you can either use the star dot the txt or log file etc or the folder name etc you can use something like that okay so once you are done with this press escape and then shift colon wq to save this particular file okay so now the git ignore has been saved so now let's say add all of these files again to the staging area okay we'll say git status and then you will see that it is a lot smaller list with all the unnecessary files that we do not want to basically check in into the repository have been ignored okay so this is the whole purpose and use of git ignore into git all right so now all the files are in the staging area okay so other thing i want to show you is in the test framework in this particular pycharm you will see the git ignore file is available there as well so if you are say for example uncomfortable uh, with the vi editor and things like that you you should be actually learning all those stuff anyways but you can also so edit this file here right so you can directly open this file in the editor and you can update here the details as well but i would highly recommend that you get used to the commands that i have explained in this particular tutorial okay so now these files are added into the staging area now we can commit right so to commit these files we'll simply put the command so git commit and an inline message and this is first commit for selenium python automation 
code okay this is the message that i'll put and hit enter okay so you will see all of the files have been committed successfully right and if i'll do the git status again there is it is on the branch master and there is nothing to commit right so working tree is clean now this is in the local repository this is still on my computer okay now i want to push it to the github right which is the remote git repository so what i need to do is i'll go to my github account right so this is the rcv academy account now here will create a repository so which will hold all of these project files okay so if you haven't gone through the previous tutorial how to sign up for the github account and create all of the repositories and things like that go through the previous tutorial before coming to this one okay so I will simply create a repository and I will name this selenium python automation framework code okay so this is selenium python automation framework code this is the repository name so that it it is easy for you guys to basically go through and remember okay and I'll keep it as public and then I'll simply go ahead and create this particular repository. So now this is the repository that is created on GitHub. Okay, this is the URL for that particular repository where we can now push in the code from our local Git repository to this particular repository. Okay, so now most of these commands, if you see the initialization commit, we have done it, right? So we want to push an existing repository which is on our local computer into this particular repository. So what we need to add Add is we, we need to do this particular command right so we first want to add the connectivity or create a connectivity from my local repository to this particular repository to do that we want to run this particular command git remote add origin and we add this particular origin so I'll simply copy that command paste it here and enter okay so that connectivity has been established now the next recommendation is that git wants us to change the branch name to main so let's go ahead and change the branch name to main as well okay so we will change the branch name so to change the branch name we'll simply run this particular command and if you'll see the status now you'll see that change the master has been changed to main right it has shown it is shown here as well so now status will show that you are on the branch main the name of the branch has changed okay now the last command to push this code is to basically git push hyphen u origin main right this is what we want to run so i'll simply copy that command and we will push the code that we have checked in into our local git repository into the remote repository which is basically this repository right so just git push hyphen u origin main and enter okay so uh, this error basically is because i have in the previous tutorial i have used another account which is basically rcv academy one on github and i've pushed some code there right so basically the connectivity or the credentials that have been used for rcv academy one are being saved so in this case now say for example you want to check in the code or you are using multiple repositories in that case you need to or git needs to prompt you for the username and password for the new url so what you need to do is you need to simply set this remote url right so you, you need to push uh, or uh, type the command git remote set url origin and the url for the account that you want to basically push this code in right so github account so this is the rcv academy account name or the username uh, and then followed by at github.com followed by the username and the repository where you want to push right so this is the command that we have to run so that the remote url right so i have tried it out so i'll simply run this command right and now if i will run git status so it's on the main and now let's run that particular command to push the code right so we'll simply go ahead and push this code so in this case now it should ask me the credentials for the rcv academy account right so it will pop up this particular connect to github right now we have to generate the personal access token and provide the token here to log in and basically push in this code okay so i have explained this creation of the personal access token already in the previous tutorial but I'll again touch base on it. So on your GitHub account, go to the right side to the user details, go to the settings and then go to the developer settings. In the de developer settings, you will see the personal access token. Click on that and then generate new token. Okay. I'll simply check the repo and I will say selenium python. Okay. Just, just a note there. Okay. Expiration you can set. 
so i'll just keep it default to 30 days and then i will put some other details there as well so i want to delete repo permission as well so select these you know scopes so select the repo and then also the write and read packages okay so once you are done generate the token and please treat this token as your password so keep it safe do not disclose it and once you copy this particular token then we'll go to that particular window here right i'll provide the token here and sign in so once i will sign in then you will see that all of the code has been pushed in successfully to the remote repository okay so if i go to the account again okay so let me go to the account and in this particular repository you will see all of the files are now available and with the comment there first commit for selenium python automation code okay so if you'll see the details here so all of the files within those folders uh, the test cases etc test data and everything is available there and the content if you'll see the content say for example test search flights etc all of the code you can basically go ahead and use it okay so i will explain you how you can also uh, get this code out of the github repository and set up your computer or set it up on your local computer and start working with this particular code so this is basically how you will go ahead and uh, initialize the repository and then check in your automation code into the github repository so that's all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching